The urgency of tackling the climate crisis has never been greater. We've experienced the hottest years on record, heat waves, wildfires and hurricanes. People around the world are already suffering from the impacts. We need to reduce emissions to tackle the climate crisis for our planet and ourselves. That's why reaching climate neutrality is so crucial. Climate neutrality requires dramatically reducing emissions on the one hand, while increasing removal of carbon from the atmosphere on the other. If negative emissions exceed overall emissions, we have reached climate neutrality, or net zero. The negative emissions we need can come from natural and technological solutions that act as carbon sinks. Carbon sinks absorb and store carbon out of our atmosphere. We need these sinks to help us because some emissions will be difficult or impossible to avoid entirely. The main natural carbon sinks are plants, soils and oceans. But already many of them are losing their ability to store carbon due to human activities, making them sources of emissions instead. To reach climate neutrality, we have to protect and strengthen them. In addition, we will need some help from technological sinks to absorb carbon. However, technology should not be an excuse to avoid reducing emissions in the first place, or to avoid protecting our natural sinks. The good news is that governments, businesses and other organisations are increasingly setting climate neutrality targets. But we have to make sure these declarations are met with real action, not just empty promises. So what do we need to do? Reduce emissions as much and as quickly as possible. Protect natural carbon sinks. And invest in developing sustainable climate technologies. Reaching net zero will put us on a path towards a more sustainable and fair future but we're also running out of time. We have to act now to reach climate neutrality.